of the long-running territorial conflicts in the South China Sea. U.S. slams China's aggressive actions in SCS after Chinese Coast Guards blast water cannons on Filipino vessels. 1. U.S. slams China's aggressive actions in SCS after Chinese Coast Guards blast water cannons on Filipino vessels. December 9, 2023. The Philippines accused China of firing water cannons on three Filipino vessels on December 8 in an attempt to obstruct their way in what has come as yet another round of confrontation between the two neighbors, Saudi tears apart F. 15 fighters' impeccable reputation, loses second air superiority aircraft in one year. The attack, which has been labeled as the most severe ran aggressive this year, happened when the Philippines' warships were on their way to bring supplies to Filipino fishers near Scarborough, Bajo de Masinloc, Panadag, Sholaf Zambales. A video of the attack was also subsequently released. According to Philippine officials, the Philippine Fisheries Bureau ships visited the rich but remote Scarborough Shoal to deliver humanitarian relief primarily free gasoline and Christmas grocery packs, to impoverished Filipino fishermen operating roughly 30 boats. The Philippine government ships were stated to be approaching from a distance of 1.6 to 2 miles, 2.6 to 3.5 kilometers, when the Chinese Coast Guard and its supporting ships engaged in dangerously aggressive behavior, which included the firing of water cannons at least eight times. They also said that the Chinese Coast Guard had deployed people on small motorboats to drive away Filipino fishermen who were waiting for the delivery of food and gasoline at the entrance to the enormous fishing lagoon of Scarborough Shoal, as well as had erected a floating barrier there. This is the most recent escalation of the long-running territorial conflicts in the South China Sea, an Asian flashpoint that has put China and the United States on a collision path. Screenshot from video. China. Filipino tensions refuse to abate. This year has seen an especially violent territorial confrontation between China and the Philippines over several contested offshore locations, such as the Scarborough and Second Thomas Shoals. The latest episode is not the first time that China has used water cannons to attack vessels belonging to the Philippines. In November, Manila accused Chinese ships of resupplying Philippine vessels on another disputed territory, the Second Thomas Shoal, and of firing water cannons and engaging in dangerous maneuvers near them. At the time, the Philippines further asserted that inflatable boats belonging to the Chinese Coast Guard were harassing two Philippine boats in a reckless and dangerous manner. Later that same month, two Chinese People's Liberation Army, Air Force, PLAF, fighter jets were observed closely circling a Philippine aircraft deployed as part of the Joint Bilateral Maritime Patrol with Australia in the West Philippine Sea. Taiwan Plus News Verified Account At Taiwan Plus News, follow, view on X, the Philippines says a Chinese Coast Guard vessel endangered the lives of crew members on a resupply ship during a collision in the South China Sea. 1 minute 0 seconds, elapsed time, 0 seconds. Play video one minute long, watch on X, 6 p.m., October 22nd, 2023, X adds info and privacy, like, this post has 92 likes. Reply to this post on X, share, read 7 replies. In October, the Philippines accused Chinese Coast Guard warships of intentionally colliding with their vessels while they were on a resupply operation around the 2nd Thomas Shoal. China, however, refuted the accusation and asserted that the Philippine warships had bumped dangerously with the Coast Guard and Chinese fishing vessels that were fishing nearby. Since then, several reports of instances similar to that have surfaced. The Chinese Coast Guard has also allegedly employed military-grade lasers in high-seas confrontations off disputed shoals, temporarily blinding Filipino crew members in the process. They have also engaged in risky blocking and shadowing techniques, one of which resulted in a small collision. In the meantime, the Philippines is stepping up its efforts to thwart what it sees as China's aggressive activities in the South China Sea. The region has become a hotspot for tensions between China and the United States regarding naval operations. Contact the author at sakshitwari9555 at gmail.com. Follow Eurasian Times on Google News.